What's up guys, this is TVW slash The Fort Within here, bringing you guys an Elder Scrolls Online video talking about more stuff that's to come on ESO and on the last video I talked about the Dark Brotherhood being released on Elder Scrolls Online but there's also a couple more things that I didn't mention in that video such as the Imperial City that they will be adding to the game it's supposedly another, I guess, another land or another continent to explore or you know how they added Kraglorn later on to ESO. They made a, a different continent place for new quests and stuff, as well as new delves and dungeons and whatnot. And also they'll be adding another continent as well called Orsanium, which is pretty much the realm of orcs. Uh, and basically, I think with those two new places being added, I'm not sure if they'll both be added at once, but I think the Imperial City might be released first then the land of the orcs and then the dark brotherhood with that towards the end so i mean who knows maybe they'll add all three of them at once well i'm not sure but i'm actually really excited for all those stuff coming into the game because i really like pve in all the schools online because i i honestly am a pve type of guy i i'm not really much of a pvp and i emphasize that so much because i just i'm not the type of player I guess to be competitive in certain games like Dark Souls I wasn't really uh, a PvE PvP kind of guy I was more into the PvE type of stuff and then RuneScape I was always a PvE type of guy with as as well as a co-op stuff like defeating bosses and whatnot so pretty much PvE emphasized or PvE focused and so I think with this new update also they'll be adding new quests too because although there are new continents with that you'll have new quests to be um, released into the those continents and then you'll be able to do those quests as well and I'm not really sure if I'll be like doing those quests by myself I'll probably find at least like a couple of friends to do those quests with I'm pretty sure they'll be more challenging like Kraglorn um, and people were talking about that as when they're gonna release the full thing Elder Scrolls Online is going to be complete um, not like complete as in they're not gonna make any more updates anymore but complete as in to get all the stuff ready until they'll be able to take off the veteran system because I hear that veteran rank 14 is not going to be a thing anymore so they'll pretty much just have like level 50 or something I kind of forgot how that's going to work, but basically I don't think there's going to be any more veteran rank levels anymore. It's just level 50 and then from there you got, I don't know, um, I have to do more search on all that stuff. But basically veteran ranks are going to be taken off probably, but they'll still have the skill point attributes and whatnot when you're spending them on a tree and all that. Um, so yeah, so I'm basically, I'm really excited. I feel like you know doing a lot of quests and stuff and hopefully they'll add some more armor and weapons into the game and even new crafting sets too I, I would really like to see some new crafting sets onto the game and even though hunting's rage you can't go wrong with hunting's rage for dps type of builds but i would like to see some diversity into crafting um especially for more like focus builds like dps builds um templar builds and then healing builds warrior tank dragon dragon nine tank builds all that kind of stuff and or maybe make some you know quest quest related armor that's only exclusive to that quest you have to complete but those quests are really hard to do so you have to do it with friends in order to do it just kind of hardcore stuff like that because i know there are some quests in the game that require people to you know help you with the quest and so hopefully they'll add in some new armor and weapons but I'm actually kind of glad with the stuff I have right now. I, I just kind of, I'm, I'm really a sucker when it comes for customization for the character and stuff. So I just really like to see new diversity as weapons and stuff. Um, even doing this uh, pledge, I think it is, I totally got a lot of um, purple weapons and stuff into this, this run we had. So this is a really great money maker and Lagurn Main is another thing to do as well, but I mean, Laguerta Main is just so repetitive sometimes, and it can kind of get boring unless you have nothing else to do. Laguerta Main is the way to go to make money. But if you're a person like me who really wants to, you know, have a lot of fun in this game and not be bored at all, is to put yourself out there into PvE co-op stuff like this. And 
you can totally have a really more better time than just doing Legertimane stuff for money. And um, I think when the, the, the or the Dark Brotherhood coming out, hopefully it adds another mechanic into the game to make money because I would like to do a mixture of PvE co-op group stuff as well as Legertimane pickpocketing for money and killing people or um, taking contracts from you know the Dark Brotherhood and making money as well from that. So who knows what to expect from all those new things coming out into the game, but hopefully all the stuff that I kind of suggested or want into the the game as well, um, hopefully they'll put something or one of those stuff that I mentioned in this video, but who knows. Um, I won't be disappointed if it's not going to be, but it will be nice to see that into the game. But yeah guys, that is a video for you guys here today, and remember, leave any sort of comments down below. If you guys would like to say anything and this is the vote within here guys and I will see you guys later.